In this video, we're going to take a look at multiplying two fractions. And multiplying two fractions is actually even easier than adding or subtracting two. Why? Because there's only one rule you have to remember, and that rule is multiply straight across. So let's get started. In our very first example, we have one third times one fifth. So the only rule for multiplying fractions is you multiply straight across. So we're going to have the numerators in red and the denominators in blue so it's easier to see what we're trying to do. So step one, we're going to multiply the two numerators. In this case, they're both one. So we multiply the one of the one third and the one from the one fifth and one times one gives us one. Then we go to the denominator which we have in blue. Three times five gives us 15. And that's the answer, 115. On to our second example. We have two thirds times two thirds. Again, we're gonna indicate the numerators in red and the denominators in blue. So first, we start with two times two. So step one, we multiply the two from the first numerator and the two from the second numerator. And two times two gives us four. Now we go on to the denominators. They're both three. So we multiply the two threes together, three times three, which gives us nine. So the answer is four over nine. Moving on to our third example. We have three fourths times one fourth. We indicate the numerators in red and the denominators in blue. And we multiply straight across again, starting with the numerators. Three times one gives us three. And looking at the denominators, we have a four times four, which gives us 16. So the answer is three over 16. Moving on to our fourth example. We have one seventh times three over two. Same thing, we have our numerators in red our denominators in blue, and we go straight across, starting from our numerators. We have a one and a three. So we multiply the one and three together, which gives us three. And then we move on to our denominators. We have seven and a two. So we multiply seven times two to get 14. So the answer is, three over 14. Our fifth example, we have three fifths times one tenth. Three in the one up top, a five and a 10 at the bottom. So we start with the top. We multiply the three times one to get three. Then we multiply five times 10 to get our denominator of 50. So the answer is three over 50. Example number six, we have one half times nine over five. So multiplying straight across, starting from the numerator, we have one times nine, which gives us nine. Now we look at the denominator in blue, we have two times five, which is equal to 10. So the answer is nine over 10. Example number seven, we have four over three times one over five. Multiplying straight across using the numerators, we have four times one, which gives us four. At the bottom, our denominators are three and five. So we multiply them together. We have three times five, which is 15. So our answer is 
4 over 15. Number 8. We have 5 over 4 times 1 over 6. Looking at the numerators, 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Looking at the denominators of 4 and 6, we multiply them together. 4 times 6 is equal to 24. So the answer is 5 over 24. Number 9. We have 1 over 12 times 7 over 3. Multiplying straight across, we have 1 times 7, which is equal to 7. Looking at the denominators, we have 12 times 3, which is equal to 36. So the answer is 7 over 36. Example number 10. 3 over 4 times 3 over 8. We look at the numerators. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Looking at the denominators, we have 4 and an 8. We multiply straight across. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. So the answer is 9 over 32. So for number 11, we have 9 over 7 times 1 over 4. Multiplying straight across, 9 times 1 gives us 9. Looking at the bottom, 7 times 4 gives us 28. So the answer is 9 over 28. Example number 12. We have 4 over 5 times 2 over 3. We start with the numerators. Looking up top, we have 4 times 2, which gives us 8. At the bottom, we have 5 times 3, which gives us 15. Number 13. At the top, we have a 1 and 11. We multiply 1 times 11. So 11. Looking at the bottom, we have 12 and a 2. Multiplying 12 times 2, we get 24. So the answer is 11 over 24. Number 14. We have 7 over 8 times 1 over 2. Looking up top, we have a 7 and a 1. We multiply the 7 and the 1, and we get 7. At the bottom, we multiply the 8 and the 2, and that gives us 16. So the answer is 7 over 16. Looking at number 15, we have 4 over 9 times 4 over 3. We start with the top, 16. Multiply straight across. We have 4 times 4, which gives us 16. At the bottom, we multiply straight across. 9 times 3, which gives us 27. So the answer is 16 over 27. Example number 16. We have 12 over 7 times 1 over 5. Multiplying straight across, 12 times 1 gives us 12. At the bottom, we have 7 and 5. So we multiply 7 times 5, it gives us 35. So the answer is 12 over 35. Number 17, we have 2 over 9 times 4 over 9. We multiply straight across. 2 times 4 gives us 8. At the bottom, we multiply straight across. 9 times 9 gives us 
81. Number 18. We have 4 over 5 times 6 over 7. We multiply up top straight across the 4 times 6, which gives us 24. At the bottom, we multiply straight across. 5 times 7 gives us 35. So there is 24 over 35. Number 19. We have 7 over 9 times 5 over 4. We start up top, multiply straight across. We have 7 times 5, which gives us 35. At the bottom, we multiply straight across. We have a 9 and a 4. 9 times 4 gives us 36. So the answer is 35 over 36. Number 20. 11 over 2 times 1 over 5. Starting up top, we multiply straight across. 11 times 1 is 11. At the bottom, we have a 2 and a 5. We, multi we multiply 2 times 5, we get 10. So the answer is 11 over 10. So for number 21, we have 8 over 3 and 1 over 9. So up top, straight across, 8 times 1 gives us 8. At the bottom, straight across, 3 times 9 gives us 27. So the answer is 8 over 27. Example number 22. We have 1 half times 7 over 5. Up top, we go straight across. 1 times 7 gives us 7. At the bottom, we go straight across. 2 times 5 gives us 10. So the answer is 7 over 10. Number 23, we have 10 over 7 times 10 over 3. We start up top and multiply straight across. So we have 10 times 10, which is equal to 100. At the bottom, we multiply straight across. So we have a 7 and a 3. So 7 times 3 gives us 21. So the answer is 100 over 21. Example number 24. 11 over 5 times 3 over 8. We start up top and multiply straight across. So 11 times 3 gives us 33. We go to the bottom, and again, straight across. We have a 5 and an 8. So 5 times 8, we multiply apply to get 40. So the answer is 33 over 40. And number 25, we have 3 over 10 times 7 over 11. We start up top and multiply straight across. 3 times 7 gives us 21. At the bottom, we have a 10 and 11. 10 times 11 is 110. So our answer is 21 over 110. And that is how you multiply two fractions. Pretty simple, right?